Hello everybody, it's your old man, Oldish22 here, and I'm ready to talk some Path Exile uh, Harvest League with you guys. This is going to be my first impression video. Um, I really want to uh, get into the Path Exile like, community. I want to like do some deep dive discussions, and I want to do more Path Exile on my YouTube channel. So... That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I just want to like talk about it, give my first impressions. Uh, I want to give you guys a heads up though, if you guys are new to my channel or anything, I am uh, pretty much a casual player. I play a few hours a day, um, or a few hours a night, I should say, because uh, I just work on a full time job. Uh, I got uh, a six year old, and I love hanging out with my son and my wife, so I'm usually there. And then after, you know, the son goes to bed. That's usually when I, I stream and play Path Exile. And I've been playing for a while. I've been like an on and off player. I'm still learning a lot. Um, I'm not no pro player, any nowhere near. Um, I'm still learning how to do my own builds and everything. And I'm, I'm slightly getting better at it each build at a time. And I'm really enjoying that. It's, it's a really, really, really fun experience. I did follow a couple of builds when I first started, uh, which was cool and everything. But then I, I wanted to experiment and, you know, start learning how to do my own builds. And I'm kind of like at that point where, like, I'm actually starting to see progress. Like, last league, I got all the way pretty much to Awakener. Uh, I have not killed Awakener yet with my own build or anything like that. So I haven't killed Awakener at all, actually. But I'm trying to do it with my own build, and that's why it's taking some time. I'm hoping this league I can actually kill it with my own build and feel pretty good. Um, which, right now, I'm playing a Bane, uh, a Bane build, pretty much, with, like, multiple curses. And uh, using Blight as well to help with, like, single target and everything. Which has been going really good. I wanted to play something, like, especially for League Start, something that was, like, comfortable because the last league i played it for a little bit but anyways i want to get to the point of this video just, just that was just like a little bio like a little information about me playing poe i've been playing on and off but recently the last couple leagues i have been playing a lot more and i plan on playing a lot lot more uh from these uh next couple uh leagues and stuff like that uh, but anyways my first impressions for harvest league so far i am really enjoying it um, I also know, like, before this league even came out, right, I already knew people were not going to like the league because this league is not for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, there's just some people on the game that just don't like crafting. And I've talked to a few people that, uh, you know, they're already, they're already bored with the league pretty much because just, it's just not their thing. And that, that's that's fine. Like, it's... To me, like Harvest League right now, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a big profession, like like an MMO. But this profession is if you actually put in time that you'll actually get like the payoff, right? And uh, so far, I haven't gotten too far in the whole farming. Like I would say, I've done a crap ton of tier ones. I got some tier twos, and I'm about to get into like tier threes. That's where I'm at right now, and. To me, just personally, it's just like it's just chill. Like I like, there's no timer. Like delirium, you don't have a timer and everything. I like, it's just kind of like it's kind of like peaceful. But I understand like, for people that have been playing a lot longer than me and they play a lot, like a lot more time than I do, that they're probably just not feeling it. You know, where I'm the opposite. I still have like a lot of things to do in Poe that I haven't reached yet. Like I haven't killed the Awakener yet. Um, I haven't even killed the, the new, uh, the new, uh, the new shaper, I would say like the health bonus, like he got buffed and then like the new Uber elder and stuff like that. There's still a lot, a lot of content that, uh, I have to, uh, um, play. So, um, man, I'm just realizing in my background, that screen is getting like really fucked up with those breaches but anyways sorry i'm being distracted by my own videos i don't know why it's i don't know why it's like that but um uh, it just doesn't like breach i guess but anyways back to the subject there's still a lot of content i gotta do but i do like i'm taking my time i'm, I'm going really slow because uh every now and then i like find myself when i go too fast like leveling that I get in like a huge roadblock and then like I have then I have to like start a new character pretty much just because 
I got like no currency. I got no nothing. And I'm a softcore player. I'm uh, yeah. I'm I'm a noob, right? Oh, I'm just I'm just kidding. No, this is my play style right now. I, I like hardcore. I just I'm just not good enough at the game. Uh, and th there's nothing wrong if you guys play softcore. Honestly, there's nothing wrong. I really like softcore, so I think it's cool. But anyways, um, but I still feel like I'm a noob. <laughs> but yeah, the whole seed thing, the farm thing, um. I like how it's like set up and everything. It seems like people are having, uh, which I haven't got there yet. It's like storage tank things. I think people want to upgrade them, which maybe I haven't gotten that far. So I can't really say how I feel about that yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a part two of this video, uh, but I know one thing for sure. Like if I had, if I had something that I want to be switch is that it says, you know, like your farm is ready, but it's like eight seeds. When eight seeds are ready, then it's like, oh, your farm's ready. I wish we could change that to, like, every seed. Like, when you have a full plant, that every seed is ready would be cool. Because I always, like, every time I hit the seed thing, I'm like, oh, it says it's ready, but it's not fully ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would like that change. I think that that's something that would be very nice uh, to change as well. Um... I don't think I have enough of opinion on... I do like the rewards a lot. It's helped uh, quite a bit. Especially for like just like building certain gear. Like I'm doing chaos and it's really nice to get like chaos rolls and stuff like that. And I actually made some pretty good ones. Uh, even off of like the tier ones. Um, I have read that people... I think what tier twos are people are saying are, are like the best. Like better than tier threes. Or I might have that wrong. Vice versa. Um, which I, I can't have an opinion on that right now because I, I haven't experimented too much with those. Um, but the whole, like, uh, um, I thank God that they gave us a seed stash. I was going to say that, uh, that's a huge plus. And I know that there's the whole tab thing that's going on right now. Um, I've already talked kind of about that, but hopefully in the future that, Maybe they'll be going more the style. I don't, I, you know, I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, I'm fine, honestly. The whole like the short story of the tab thing, honestly, give me control left click, like control left click my items, right? And uh, and it just goes right into the tab, which it seems like that's what they're going to be doing next league, which I, I hope so because that is a huge quality of life. Um, I was kind of hoping there would be more quality of life in this league, honestly, but uh, whatever. You know, I think most of the quality of life stuff, or hopefully, will be coming in Path Exile too. Um, but yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more, like, quality of life. But, uh, anyways, uh, give me the control left click for the, the tab thing, and that'd be freaking awesome. Um, the other thing is, uh, so far, but I've only been done Tier 1 monsters, and some Tier 2s. The monsters I haven't felt too difficult at all. I'm really curious to see how the bosses are. Um, I haven't watched any streamers. I've, well, I've watched, I watched uh, the final boss fight. Um, like, I watched Waggle uh, fight it. And, uh, which was really cool to see him. Uh, kind of get a little, like, redemption. Because, you know, he did the Awakener. And, um, unfortunately, kind of got screwed over on the Awakener. But at least this time he got this one. So that's cool to see. Um... My only thing is, is like, you know, people are like, oh, that's kind of like a, what, like a weak boss fight? Um, I, I, you know, I don't, I haven't fought him yet or anything. My only thing is, is like, it would have been interesting to see if they had like a higher tier because it goes off the, the map level. Like when I watched Waggle do it, it was like the lowest tier. It was like level 68, right? level 68 and uh just just the white map there's no mods or anything and they you know you'd beat it that way i, I it'd be i th i would think it'd be more interesting if they were like yo you need to beat it tier 10 maybe uh yellow map you know that that, that then it would probably would have been a lot tougher fight maybe or maybe that's not even, maybe not even a yellow map, but like maybe just a higher tier, you know, like you have to be like, maybe it could be like a white uh, tier 16 would have been very interesting um, fight. But then the, then you probably couldn't do it. 
it'd be a longer than a week competition. So, but I think that would have been a little bit more interesting. And that's nothing against Waggle or anything. I mean, he did it. Uh, but I don't even know how many people have beaten the boss, though. Like, I'm nowhere near close, so I can't say anything. I'm just saying as, a, I guess, a viewer of the race, you know, because I'm a casual player. I only play a few hours a night or whatever. But as a viewer of, uh, like, these competitions, races and stuff, I think that would have been a little bit more interesting, at least. I don't know if it had to be Tier 16, but, like, something. A little bit higher tier. But, uh... Anyways, that's my little, uh, uh, I don't know, not beef, but like just uh, my opinion on that. Um, but yeah, I like the seeds. I like the whole how you set up your farm. I literally screwed up my farm at the beginning. I had to like redo my whole farm, which was fun. It was like, I was fine with it. Like I was learning. So, cause I had it all, I had it all messed up. Like it was really bad really really bad um but uh yeah i mean i like the whole like dispenser thing and this and that um the crafting's definitely worth it and uh yeah overall i'm, I'm pretty happy i'm trying to like think of anything that i've missed at least this is just my first impressions i haven't got fully through everything in harvest league at all um but I'm really enjoying the game. I really enjoy the game. And I understand if it's not your thing. Because it's not for everybody. I hope it's... I'm, I imagine it's going to stay the next league. Right? I, I hope so. I, I think the rewards will change. But I think the farm's really cool. And I think it's for a decent amount of people. Like, I've seen a lot of good things, too. That people actually really, really like it. And I hope it stays in the game. Because to me, it's like a, a very big profession. And it's just cool. See, like, it just reminds me of like, when, like, playing like World of Warcraft. And you're like doing either... I don't know, like blacksmith or something. You know, it's like a big profession that can actually like really pay off. And I just like that POE is getting bigger and bigger. I think it's cooler. The only thing that I think that POE needs is more quality of life stuff. And I'm hoping for either, hopefully for Path Exile too, that, that it will happen. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun. I really am. I don't have too many complaints except for like, you know, tell me when my actual farm is ready. You know, please. Um, but uh, and I gotta, I gotta look at like, why is this like? Is that what my, is that what my stream looks like? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it like really drops. But uh, yeah, so sorry, I'm not very good at making videos. I'm just not. But whatever, I'm winging it until I get used to it and better at it. And. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really would love to know. I would really love to know uh, what your thoughts so far in Harvest League. Are you enjoying the farming? Um, I really like the cosplays uh, on the first day. Yo, Dat Mod's cosplay was, is hilarious. And Mathos was very creative. Very creative. <laughs> Even Ziz is, uh, was pretty good, too. It was like a couple days later, but I, it was pretty funny. Um... But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm not the best at making these videos yet, but I'm going to get better and get more comfortable with it. You know, I got anxiety too doing this stuff. I'm not used to it. I'm used to streaming, but I'm not used to, I don't know, making these videos, which is weird to me, but whatever. I think it's just a little bit different. And uh, I don't want to make this video too much longer. It's already like 13 minutes. So yeah, I don't know. I'd just like to know what you guys think about the league so far, if it's your thing. It's not your thing. Are you just waiting for next league? Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like, what what improvements could be uh, for this league? You know, I know that they just released like a big patch thing. So, but yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful night or wonderful morning wherever you're listening to this. If you guys could hit that subscribe button, I'd be very appreciative. I'd be very thankful. Uh, and yeah, please leave your comments down below. Love to read them. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.